This is Stuart Cameron with a look at yesterday's rugby from the borders. Gala march on in their bid to become Premiership champions of Scotland with a convincing 34-17 win at home to Edinburgh Ackies. Despite being 10-0 down, they switched up the gears to score a try bonus with four tries from Luke Petty, Gavin Young, Peter Palapoy and Gerald Sabanda. Lee Miller converted all four and kicked two penalties. With league leaders Ayr missing out on a bonus point in their win at Dundee, it means the gap has closed to seven points, with Gala, who are second, still with two games in hand. Reaction from coach George Graham. For me, it was only a game of one half because we, we'd never played the first half. I think it was pretty much all uh, Edinburgh Ackies. They did played well, but we never looked after the ball. We never built any phases. We never you know, controlled any territory or set piece. Uh, the scrum, uh, for whatever reason, was not effective enough because of you know, certain decisions maybe not going our way. But uh, certainly we just never played and it was very disappointing. But and we never had the ball for about half an hour again, to be honest with you. And then in, until we got the ball, about 10 minutes for the end, we scored a couple of tries and showed what we're capable of doing. But as I've just said to the boys in there, uh, we can't afford to give teams a 40-minute start, even though we're going in and half, you know, leading and expect to run away with the games. I, I felt if, you know, if we'd have played 80 minutes at uh, the, the level of rugby we played in the second half, I think we'd have scored a hell of a more points. Melrose's grasp on a possible third successive title is slipping with a first loss on the road this season, going down 23-10 at Curry. Gary Holborn scored the Black and Yellows only try, with Andrew Skeen kicking a conversion and a penalty. It was Melrose's fourth loss this season in the league, but they still have two games in hand. In the National League derby at Philip Hoch, Hoik got revenge on Selkirk after their loss early in the season when well in front. This time they took control in the second half and in a four-try performance won the match 37-12. Keith Davis, Greg Cottrell, Scott McLeod and Gary Johnston got on the score sheet for the Greens, all converted by Neil Rennick who also kicked three penalties. Darren Clapperton and Rory Banks posted tries for Selkirk, with Mike McVie converting one of them. Neil Darling was red-carded after talking back to the referee, following a yellow card. It was a vital result for Hoyk, with league leaders Watsonians and second-place Glasgow Hawks both winning their games yesterday. But they have to meet both of them at home in the second part of the season, so we'll be confident of a real chance of promotion back to the top flight. Reaction from Selkirk's Fraser Harkness and first Hoyk fly half Rory Hutton. To get five points a day, that's what we're aiming for, and to, to catch the top two teams above us. So it's in our hands, really. If we can keep winning, then we're going to be up there. Oh, red card didn't help, but Ken, we actually stuck in as well, which was good. But you know, they came, they were hungry. We kind of sat off, we got lazy towards the end, and kind of cost us dearly in the end. I mean, Ken, we're in there, chins up. It's always next week, but it's tough when you get beat like that after the kind of run we've been on. You can see highlights of that match on Borders Rugby Television later on today. Early in the season, Watsonians beat Jed Forrest 78-3, but it was a different story at Riverside Park. Despite being 20-0 down, Jed fought back for two bonus points, with a four-try collection from Gregor Young, who got two, Gregor Taylor and Chris Gillen. The match ended 29-25 to Watsonians, but Jed will see that as a very positive result. Also in the National League, Kelso won away from home at Hamilton, winning 25-17 and scoring three tries by Chris Riddell, Stuart Lowry and Michael Robertson. Head coach, Eugene Murnane. Today's game, you know, after the disappointment against Salker last week, you know, we felt it was vital. We came up here to Hamilton. We, we really needed a result today, you know, because before the game, they're on the same points as us in the league. So we felt that today was a, a must-win situation. Sometimes we made, you know, uh, things difficult for ourselves. We were to play yellow card early in the second half there. Territory-wise, we were under pressure for long periods of the game. But the pleasing thing was that when we did find a little bit of territory in the opposition's 22, we kept the scoreboard ticking over, you know, with a, a try or two and a couple of penalties. You know, so from that point of view, it was uh, encouraging. In Championship B, Peebles went top of the table after destroying Haddington 44-12 with a seven-try haul, including a brace by Connor Blythe, James Hamara, Callum Scott, Rory Clinch, Dalton Hall and Ken Clyde all touched down for Peebles. Hoyt YM helped themselves and Peebles by beating league leaders Howe of Fife 19 points to 18 at Mansfield Hawk. It was a last-ditch try by Stephen Mabin which clinched the result for the Redskins. Mabin scored a try earlier in the match as well, and with Murrayfield winning at second-placed Musselburgh, the Borders teams are very much in the promotion hunt. A delighted YM boss this weekend, Jamie McFarlane. That's a fantastic result for us today. I think we dominated in the scrum area particularly well. Line-out maybe misfunctioned a wee bit, but um, 
for 20 minutes we were the dominant side in the last 20 again we were dominant in between we saw how a Fife play some of the exciting rugby that's put on top of the league so to come back at the end and Stephen Maven get that try in the corner was really nice timing because there was no kick off to come and we could get back into the game so nice time to get in front and hopefully we can kick on it certainly keeps the season alive Finally, the East League results. Division 1, Berwick 15, Portobello 33. Duns 18, Linlithgow 7. RHC 48, Langham 19. East League 2, Earlson 70, Ross High 3. Galloway M 62, Lismore 12. Hoyt Lindeen 38, Dolkeith 25. That result puts Lindeen top of the table. And Forrester 31, Hoyt Harlequins 17. East League 3, Inverleith 109, Walkerburn 0, St Boswell's 26, Queensferry 8. Next week, Hoyk face Peebles on Friday night in the Border League, while on Saturday, Gala hosts Stirling and Melrose are at Dundee in the Premiership. Selkirk, they're at home to Kelso in the Border Cup. There are three Border Derbies in the Border Shield competition. St Boswell's take part in the East League Bowl and Hoyk YM are at home to Jed Forrest in the Border League. For all the news, results, video, audio and rankings, go to bordersrugby.net. Stark, Main & Co. are a UK award-winning firm of chartered tax advisors and accountants committed to offering high-quality tax and business advisory services. With a committed and professional team, we have the focus and drive to help you change the numbers which are important to you. We are proud of the difference we can make together.